Hello, my name is Mr. Spammel, and today I'm here with... And today we're doing something very, very different. I've never done anything like this really. We're doing 10 tips for complete unturned beginners. Recently I've had a sort of influx, increase, I don't know what to call it. But a bunch of super beginners to unturned have been messaging me and asking me for tips, so I thought I'd throw together this video. Some of these points are going to seem very obvious, but if you're new to the game, it will help you a ton. Some of these things I wish I knew when I first started playing and I hope it's going to come in handy. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you messing at? Just hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. It's two clicks out of your day and let's go ahead and get started. My very first tip is PvP third person. The moment you're fighting a player or even zombies, you want to be third person. Not only does it in my opinion make it easier to hit those targets, but it allows you to lie down, get super precise, see around corners, which is super useful. It just allows you to drop zombies way easier. It's a lot more relaxing and I literally cannot play PvP first person. When it's a first person only server, I am very, very bad. First person PvP absolutely sucks in a turn in my opinion. And if you're getting absolutely owned by players, chances are it's because they're playing third person. And this moves nicely on to my next tip. Play at max field of view. If you go third person your game looks like a bloody telescope, you've got a bit of an issue. This is unplayable, it's disgusting, alright? You have to play at max field of view, alright? This is where it should be. Every YouTuber you watch, chances are, if they're good at the game that is, they're playing at max field of view. Not only can you see more, but the game, it just works nicely at this sort of field of view. I highly, highly recommend them. You may notice at the bottom of my screen, I have a little three with a med kit there. And this is my next tip. Use hotkeys and shortcuts. Seriously, the amount of players that go in their inventory, right click, equip a med kit in the middle of a fight is terrible. And hotkeys in a turn are really easy to make. Right click on something and then hit the key you want the hotkey to be. Right click, hit the key, right? Now it's five. So if I escape out of this, Five is now my hotkey for the medkit. I like to just do it in logical places like three, four, five. Um, sometimes I'll have like seven hotkeys depending on what I'm doing. Like building, I like to hotkey stuff with a bunch of space because then I can switch quickly switch between like a floor and the walls. Really speeds me up. If you watch any of my building videos, you'll notice me go in my inventory, add a quick hotkey, and then continue on. And you can do this really fast once you get a bit more used to it. Uh, like if I do three for that one, four for that one, five for that one, six for that one. And now, <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to do this, but you have a bunch of hotkeys. And probably the most useful two shortcuts in a turn is hold control and then left click and you will drop whatever item you just left clicked. How do you pick this up? You could right click, pick up, you could click and drag, click and drag, there we go. <laughs> or you could just hold control and right click. Super simple, control left click to drop, drop all of these, boom, control, right click. Super useful for PvP when you're in the middle of a raid because right click equipping takes forever. Clicking dragging takes forever, don't do either. If I was to do the same thing, for example, um, but like manually picking up, <laughs> it's, it's, oh, oh, I've missed, this is. The next tip is to drastically increase accuracy while third person, depending on your gun. If I was to, real quick, just take the attachments off this stuff, um, you'll notice that it's not the most accurate thing in the world, even when aiming down the sights. Obviously, this is a maple strike, and I have relatively high skills, so it's probably going to look a bit more spread out for you. Go prone. Get your thumb, hit Z, hit Z, <laughs> and then you can easy just headshot them, yeah? When I'm fighting in PvP, I like to quickly drop to the ground and then shoot. And you'll notice a lot of players doing this. And in first person, it doesn't really help you at all. But in third person, it is so useful. Alright? Third person, going prone. That's my next tip. Now you may be asking, what if you have no ammo? How the hell do you take on a large horde of zombies? And this goes nicely onto my next tip. Walk backwards. When I first started playing Unturned, I would just stand there and fight a zombie on the same spot. Alright, you always, or maybe look behind me and sprint. In Unturned, you can sprint backwards at max speed. It's probably identical speed to looking the correct way, I've not actually tested that. 
but you go very fast, all right? And this allows you to hit a zombie. I mean, I've, I've just stunned him. He can't really do much. And step backwards, all right? He didn't hit me once. Took him out. There's a mega over there, so I don't really want to be messing too much. Just keep stepping backwards. Always step backwards. If I was to try and fight this zombie stood still, I mean, sure, I've got high skills, but uh, he might actually manage to hit me. And then I might die. Like, look, if I was a normal player, I'd be like, eh, and I wouldn't be able to stun him. Getting hit, it's not ideal. Always keep your distance, step backwards, and be careful. Now, after doing a lot of looting, you might have a very messy inventory. This happens very commonly, especially if you're just sort of grabbing everything you see, which I do actually quite recommend, and you gotta salvage stuff, obviously. You might end up with an inventory that looks a little bit like this, all right? This makes my soul hurt, okay? It makes me cry inside. It's painful to look at, all right? Always organize your inventory. You have very limited space in a turn at all times, literally. You know, organize stuff. Left click, rotate it if you have to. Really just get it organized because there is nothing worse in this game than a really messy inventory. As you get better at the game, you'll be able to organize your inventory faster and more efficiently. You don't have to organize it for too long. Don't be really OCD with it. What's the point? You might just die anyways. Now, depending on how busy the server you're playing on is, some fights you're just not going to be able to win. You might be fighting like seven players at once or taking on a mega zombie or just a huge horde uh, with like a horde beacon and you're really struggling, yeah? What should you do? My f One of my favorite tips, this is not only going to make the game funner but a whole lot easier, do not play solo. Unturned wasn't built to play solo. Single player kind of sucks, alright? Unturned is a game to play with friends on busy servers, you know? It's a PvP game. The zombies, you shouldn't really be worried about the zombies, alright? You should be fighting players, you should be getting in big combat, you know? Always play with friends, the bigger the, the more the merrier, but don't go like half the server because then you're a bit OP. You know, stick to about a squad of four, you know, be in a call, and just have fun, you know? Let's say you've built a base, yeah? You've got your base, you've got your loot in here. In my case, it's, uh, let's just, I don't know. We've got a little, a little blue smoke, all right? Very ultra rare loot, all right? And you don't know quite what you should have in your base, all right? You get killed around your base. You have no home on the server. Let's say it's vanilla. And how are you going to get back? You might spawn all the way down Paradise Point, you know? And you've got to walk all the way back up. And by that point, all your loot's going to be gone. The solution is beds. That's right. Beds are very, very useful in Unturned. Obviously, you might be using a bedroll, which is kind of more useful, but I've got a cut here, because why not? And you'll see this claim option. And then when you claim, next time you die, you'll be able to spawn at your bed. All right? This allows you to quickly get back to your base. If you're getting raided, it allows you to get back. Some servers have the slash home command, which is effectively the same thing, but you don't have to die. So you can quickly get from one end of the map with your loot back to base. It's kind of easy to abuse. Some people like it. Some people absolutely despise it. Kind of depends on your playstyle, but please use beds. When I started playing Unturned, I never used them. I didn't even get the point in them. I thought they were just decoration. And then obviously as I got better at the game and realized, oh wait, I should probably be using these. I used them an absolute ton. I kind of forgot to cover this one, but if you're just starting out playing Unturned, please play easy. All right, there's nothing wrong with playing easy. Personally, I play easy like 90% of the time. I think the game's funner and easy. And I care more about PvP than I care about fighting zombies. Um, so personally, I like to play easy. There's some people out there who will really hardcore want to eat some moldy crisps, you know. So feel free to play medium or hard if you want to. But for me, I care much more about playing easy and fighting players. So yeah, I just thought I'd add that in here. And for my final point, we have the most important tip for new players. Trust me, you have to use this one. When you've killed a bunch of zombies, if you hit U, you'll see you have experience in the bottom left. In this case, I got 257, and you need to put this experience into different skills, all right? When starting off, I always put it into cardio and exercise, because uh, I just sort of run around the map, and being able to run away from zombies is very handy. Um, but depending on the difficulty you're playing on, you might want to pump a bunch of it into survival 
and then towards the end of the game you're going to want to put it into crafting and outdoors for chopping down trees. A lot of these skills kind of ignore cooking, not really useful, healing's pretty handy, fishing, nah. I probably didn't use experience at all in like my first week of playing Unturned and I do sometimes wonder how much better I would have done if I made use of these skills. I remember getting slaughtered by every player that would try and fight me. I mean I was like 12 so it was a long time ago but still you know. It made the game feel a lot trickier and if I need to PvP third person it would have been a whole lot better. But anyway thank you everyone so much for watching. Hopefully these 10 tips have helped you out. If there's anything you think I missed out or maybe you want to see a part 2 for, uh, for roleplay or something like that, comment it down below. Help the new players out, you know, give them, give them the support they need. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, you've just watched the entire video so you might as well hit that bell if you're feeling extra cheeky and I'll see you in the next video.